All right, so this video is going to be more of a troll video. Um, it's not, I don't, okay. For, before I explain myself, this is a Los Angeles Lakers rebuild. They got bounced in the first round. So it's a little bit troll to the Lakers fans. It's a one year rebuild. It's a Los Angeles Lakers. Um, yeah, they got bounced in the first round. As you all know, they got bounced by the Phoenix Suns, the best team, arguably, in the Western Conference this season. Or the, they were the two seed. They were the two seed. Okay, the Suns were the two seed. Um, this also is partially because on my other monitor, I have the Bucks and Nets game two. Um, and I'm kind of trying to get something short, which usually rebuilds are pretty short. So I'm looking for something pretty short. Um, my league episodes are usually about an hour of recording. And these are usually a little under an hour. So pretty much I'm recording a rebuild because I want to watch as much of this next bus Nets Bucks game as I can. Um, even though it should have started 10 minutes ago and it still hasn't started. Big up to TNT. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into the rebuild. And in all seriousness, this team obviously doesn't need too much rebuilding. They are a really, really good team. Um, honestly, they have trade pieces they could definitely pick up some solid assets with. So they have guys like Drummond and Harrell that I'm definitely going to ship in this video. But they also have guys who are stalemates in the squad like Anthony Davis and a GOAT contender in LeBron James. They have one of the best players to ever do it. They have a top 10 player in the NBA and the number two uh, power forward in the NBA. So this team is definitely in very good shape. And I really think they're just a few pieces. I mean, granted, I do know Anthony Davis missed the last two games of that series. They, he missed games, I believe, six and five. I think it went to, I'm pretty sure it went to six. I'm just going off memory. I um, mean, he missed games six and five. So that definitely is a big caveat caveat for that series. And LeBron and AD obviously were out for a lot of the season. So that's why they're a big reason why they were the seventh seed. And Drummond's kind of due to garbage. So I know a lot of Laker fans want to see Drummond out of off of the team. So Drummond definitely is going to be getting traded in this video. There's Mitchell Robinson and Derek Rose. Uh, Jalen Brunson, there's Joe Harris, there's Boucher, there's C. Wood. I don't know who I want to bring in. A new point guard would be nice, but this is going to be a one-year rebuild because, you know, uh, the Lakers are one of the best teams in the league, so they don't need a huge rebuild. There's D'Angelo Russell. We could bring him back to L.A., but they want all three of these pieces. And like I said, if you see me glancing over at this monitor, it's because Bucks Nets is about to start, so uh, I want to keep be updated on that. Uh, Trez, Harrell, and Drummond don't have too much trade value. What if we threw in the 2021 first? Could we pick up anything cool? I feel like any trade I would try to pull off, I'd get ripped off. Just because uh, Drummond and Montrezl Harrell both took on small contracts to join this team. So uh, they kind of went ring chasing and they definitely failed in their first season. But there are guys like Colin Sexton who could reinforce the backcourt for this Lakers team. There's also John Morant. Uh, I don't think I'm in a world of untouchables. So uh, $7 million more Montrez. Okay, give me one of your shitters. Uh, Tim Frazier, the former Buck. Uh, John Moran is someone we consider untouchable. Yeah, we're not in the world of untouchables. So this definitely is going to be a bit hard. There's Bradley Beal. He makes too much money for our liking, though. Can we pull something off? There's Drummond. There is Harrell. $15 million more. Would you look at that? Dennis Schroeder. What if we took Isaac Bonga? He's a valuable asset. Okay. What if we throw in some first round picks here? 2021 first. Uh, we'll give you a pick swap. What if we throw in another first? Okay. Bradley Beal isn't going to happen. This is definitely going to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. Just like most rebuilds usually are for me. So what if I go into trade? Like I just go to trade finder for certain players instead of putting my players up in the trade finder. So what if I went right for the spider? Okay, they don't have anyone for the spider. Lamelo, no. Uh, Bam Bam, what about Jimmy Buckets? Nobody wants to trade their players. Trey Young, I know he's not untouchable. Zach Levine, Chicago, Chicago, you are big bugging, my boy. You are bugging, straight bugging, Giannis. I wonder if I can make a Giannis trade for uh, LeBron James. Probably not, right? Uh, there's Bobby Portis. What is up with these trades? So honestly, I do think if I just kind of sim through as it is, that uh, we would be in good shape and be in contention for a title. But that's no fun. That's not how rebuilds go. So um, they are definitely giving me a hard time here. There's DeMar DeRozan. Ooh, I'm tempted to take this D'Lo trade. 
just because of the contract, and that means I can instantly flip him uh, for a better player. But there's DeMar DeRozan and Keldon Johnson. I'm going to take the trade. Uh, DeRozan's not going to stay, but I feel like if I package him with a Drummond in a first, I might be able to upgrade. See, there's Ben Simmons, who is definitely a big upgrade. There's Vooch. There's Rudy Gobert, De'Aaron Fox, uh, KP. We don't want uh, Pandemic P. There's Sabonis and TJ Warren, who is a solid package deal. Ben Simmons, I feel like would fit well with Anthony Davis and LeBron James. We also get Tyrese Maxey, but I'm looking for more for, uh, well, there's Rudy Gobert. We also get De'Aaron Fox, who's on pretty solid money. Uh, I know it's an overall downgrade, but I'm going to go for Big Ben. Drummond, DeMar DeRozan for Big Ben and Tyrese Maxey. I know we might have got ripped off, but it's just for the uh, for the player. Because I know Ben Simmons is good in sim. So we're going to make Tyrese Maxey a shooting guard. And now we have some more tr uh, assets we could trade here. So let's do Maxey. Who I think has good trade value, doesn't he? Okay, three-star trade value. Keldon Johnson, who could be a solid rotational piece, but I'm gonna look. I'm gonna ship shop him around the league. Uh, there's Hassan Whiteside, Mitchell Robinson, and ooh, ooh, that's a solid starting five. LeBron, AD, Ben Simmons, Mitch Rob, and Emmanuel quickly. We shape up this bench. We are in great shape because if you, we have we have LeBron James. We're in title contention regardless. We have LeBron James. Like, if you have LeBron James, you are in title contention. Um, right now, I'm just looking to fill out the bench. Hassan Whiteside. I know I get him on a lot of rebuilds, but Hassan Whiteside's Hassan Whiteside. So, he is definitely a good piece. Uh, Kuzma, as a neutral with the Lakers situation, uh, I don't think Kuzma's too bad of a player. So, we're just going to leave Kuzma on the squad. I don't care too much about Kuzma. There's Brooke Lopez and Bryn Forbes. Brooke Lopez, obviously, uh, one of my favorite centers in the league because I am a biased Bucks fan. Uh, Duncan Robinson and Iguodala. There's Tony Snell. Big ups to Snell season on Twitter. Uh, I'm going to bring in Duncan Robinson. Bring in that sharpshooter off the bench that the uh, <clears throat> Lakers are lacking. Wes Matthews. Fucking Wes. Okay, Iguodala. Uh, we're going to keep shipping assets here. Uh, Wes Matthews. I don't like him anymore. I loved him on the Bucks, but uh, he did some shady shit in the offseason, so we don't fuck with him anymore. Uh, he's from Madison, Wisconsin, which... I am about to live there, uh, but um, we still don't fuck with him, even though he's from the state. Um, squad's looking nice. We're going to keep Talon Horton Tucker around. Uh, Duncan Robinson, Kuzma, and Whiteside off the bench. What if we ship Ariza and KCP? They're both bigger contracts. Could we get a solid? Bojan Bogdanovic. Sharpshooters off the bench could be nice for this squad. Uh, there's Davis Breton, the Latvian Laser. There's Bielitsa. I have an idea. I actually have an idea. Uh, let's get Buddy Heald's max contract, right? Right, right, right. And then take a manual quick. Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to roster. Uh, go to Mitchell Robinson. Make him a power forward. Goes up to an 86. Fucking glitch. Take Mitch Rob, Buddy Heald. We have no picks. Uh, Mo Harkless. There's D'Lo. And these are the only two trades. I thought if we took Buddy Heald. Uh, because he has max money and packages them with some assets, we could upgrade. We could get Nurkic. But Mitch Rob is similar to Nurkic, so we're just going to... Overall, why it's in 2K, which is kind of what matters in Sim and Tendos, but uh, who cares. Uh, ben Simmons could make him... Ooh, a 90 overall small forward. What does LeBron go to as a point guard? What else can LeBron play? He peaks at small forward. We're just going to leave him at small forward. Uh, what if I traded Ben Simmons? For an upgrade at point guard. Uh, ben Simmons and Buddy Heald. Two big money contracts. There's Kemba. Not an upgrade. Uh, John Wall. Shea. Now Shea. I like that. Give me Shea. This team is fun. This team is very fun. Um, very, very fun. Let's experiment here. Whiteside make him a power forward. And then trade Whiteside and quickly. Can we upgrade at the two guard? Ooh, game starting. Game is starting. Um... There's Dimwitty, would technically be an upgrade. I like Dimwitty, but I feel like since we're giving up Hassan Whiteside, yeah, we're giving up Hassan Whiteside, big deal. Um, OG Ananobi and Chris Boucher. What, does, does OG, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to see if OG Ananobi goes up and overall at the shooting guard. He doesn't. He goes down. Can I play him at the two anyway? Because this is a solid bench. If I could put, okay, I'm going to hold on to them. Mike Muscala, Talon Horton Tucker. 
I should have just kept quickly, shouldn't I? I should have just kept quickly. Let's trade for Chris Dunn. Let's make Chris Dunn a shooting guard. Um, I need a starting shooting guard. I need a solid starting shooting guard. I'm just going to trade up until I am able to get a starting shooting guard. Because right now, we have no picks. So I'm... Ooh, DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo. Kendrick Nunn. Malik Monk. Malik Monk could be cool. Alfred Payton. Trey Burke. Uh, Doug McBuckets. Power forward. Jay Sean Tate. There's Jay Sean Tate. Jalen Noel. Thibel. Si Thibel and Seth Curry. It's either that trade or the DiVincenzo trade. I think I'm going to go Thibel and Seth Curry. Start Seth Curry at the two guard. Definitely isn't a bad move there. Yeah, it's a very good lineup. Shea Gildas Alexander, Seth Curry, LeBron, AD, Mitchell Robinson, Chris Boucher, OG Ananobi, Kyle Kuzma, Duncan Robinson, and Matisse Thibel off the bench. We're going to get Thibel in this rotation just for his elite defense. All right. Uh, that's the roster I'm going to roll with. I will see you guys in... Ooh, turn off injuries. I always forget to turn off injuries. All right, I'll see you guys in the offseason. Unless we kind of... Unless we suck, then I'll definitely make some trades. We shouldn't suck. We have LeBron and AD. And Shea. All right, so we are a 60-win team. 62 and 21 seed in the NBA. Uh, LeBron James, 28, 8, and 10. Damn near average is a triple-double. 42% from three. LeBron doing LeBron things, 54% from the field, insanely efficient. Ricky of the Year, LaMelo Ball, Sixth Man of the Year, Toby, uh, Giannis, DPOY, Seawood, MIP, Frank Vogel, Coach of the Year, and I, you can tell that's me, uh, win Executive of the Year. Uh, All-NBA teams, LeBron, All-NBA first team, Giannis steals it from AD, AD All-NBA second team. Do, does Shea get anywhere? Shea doesn't get into the All-NBA teams, okay. All-Defensive teams, do we have anybody? We have AD, uh, okay, we have AD. Cool. One seed in the Western Conference. How did we perform? How did we perform? Obviously, we performed well. LeBron, 28 points. AD, 23. Shea, 23. Seth Curry, 13. You'd love to see that. Mitch Rob, 9 and 7. Beautiful. Our big three doing big three things. Shea, almost 50. No, nah, not even close. 50, 40, 90 club. Uh, Seth Curry would have been 50, 40, 90 club if he, if he got his field goal percentage up. But he's 41% from three. Uh, below Seth Curry's usual numbers. I don't know what his usual numbers are. Hold on. Basketball reference. Let's pull up basketball reference for this one. Yeah, I thought so. Seth Curry is 45% from three this season. So that is definitely below his usual numbers. Okay, I'm not bugging. Cool. All right. Round one series against Shea's former team, the OKC Thunder. Should be a sweep, 4-0 sweep. We have the Los Angeles Clippers in round two. They should just be the usual squad, right? Yeah, PG, Rondo, Kawhi, Marcus Morris, uh, Serge. Yeah, they're normal squad. They didn't make any moves. Uh, should handle that. Whoa. Whoa. Game seven. Game seven. Okay, first scoring option, LeBron. Second, get it to AD. Third, Shea. And then play through Stark. Okay, we're going to simcast this game seven. Ooh, it's a close one. Okay, we pull we pull away with this game seven, as we should. Western Conference Finals, baby. We got Zion and co. Three seed in the West for uh, Zion's Pelicans. Uh, Eric Gordon, Lonzo, B.I., Zion. Okay, they're normal squad. Plus Eric Gordon. Uh, we beat them in six. We have the Brooklyn Nets in the NBA Finals. Kyrie, Harden, KD. They got Joe Ingles. And they got Derek Favors. Lakers, Nets, Finals. Game one, we lose. Game two, we steal. Okay. LeBron, not our top scorer. 22-6 and 13. Giannis, step back, Mitty, you, you guy. We lose game three. This is going to be a big series. Harden, 46-12 and 10. Shea, our top scorer, 39. What is LeBron doing? We lose game four. Yo, what is LeBron doing? He's facilitating too much. Score the ball. Game five. Looks like we're going to beat him pretty handily in game five. We put up 151 points in game five. Seth Curry for 30. LeBron, what are you doing? 16 for LeBron? What are you doing? And it looks like we're going to lose in six to the big three. Brooklyn Nets. Ooh, this is close, actually. No, it's not. Okay, we lose to the Nets. James Harden, finals MVP. That's tough. Okay. I know this was a quick one, but like I said, it was kind of meant to be a quick one. Um, I think it's like 20 minutes of recording. Yeah. 
uh, 20 minutes of recording. It's, it's a quick video. Um, not my usual video length. But if you enjoyed, as always, I love you all. Bucks and six. We're actually losing right now. So who knows what it's going to be. Um, if we lose this series, you'll get a rant video out of me. So I love you all. Peace.